Crafters, this is Raquel here and I wanted to come along yet again to share with you from the terrific Triple Towers die set from Tonic Studios another sample and I'm going to be putting this together in this video but this is the windmill it is absolutely gorgeous so I just want to pan that so that you can see it I have used uh, papers from my stash and I also combined it with a designer's choice die set to give it the little fence all the way around. I'm going to be writing in the name of it in the description box because it's no longer available, but I just wanted to share with you that I had a lot of fun putting this together. The video is only an assembly video. It's not a decorating uh, tutorial. So I just wanted to uh, share with you that you can definitely make use of the dies available maybe that you already have in your stash, or you can look at other sets that have very small little details such as this one, but I am very, very happy with the results. It has a layer of um, vellum here uh, with the little uh, overlay there that looks like little bricks, and it has little tiny butterflies that maybe you can see there. It has the little mushrooms here, uh, the tiny little door that did come with the set. I also used glass glitter on the blades there and I just thought it was so absolutely adorable and of course it opens up and you can put a little tea light inside as you see there and because there is vellum here if I were to turn off the lights then you would be able to see it glow and I'm hoping to later maybe make a video where that's a feature that's shown um, it's not going to be part of this particular video, but I highly recommend this set. I think it's very versatile. You can make so many things with it. Of course, this is just a style that I like. I love the delicate, uh, very feminine projects, and I thought that this would be a wonderful way to showcase this in my room. And of course, the video that I already released shows the actual lighthouse. So if you want to take a peek at that, then there's another sample for you. But I hope that you enjoy this video and I hope to see you in the next one. So let's create this windmill. First, you're going to need from the base pieces, which you have a large and a small one, six of each. And I have those right here, six of each. You're then going to need of the smallest hexagon in the set two pieces I recommend one in the heaviest cardstock that you have and then the other one just as a decorative piece for the inside if you intend to cover the inside of the box also from this piece here you need to cut out two I've cut mine just like this with this music note paper for the windmill portion you need four of this piece I've cut mine out twice so a total of eight 110 pound cardstock I layered behind this paper here which I had sprayed using one of the shimmer sprays so it's got pink and gold shimmer spray all over that to layer on the sides of your box you can use these solid panels here and that's going to decorate your box what I've done is that I've also used the little brick panels and they do coordinate each has its own size so I've cut out of vellum the solid pieces here a total of six times and then using the brick panels I've also cut out this layer here that's a really nice light color and then in some of the bricks there you're going to notice that I did use Nuvo Dream Drops and I've used Gold Lux to color in some of the spaces so if you see there it's got that beautiful shine and the vellum that I use also has gold foiling, so that's going to play nicely together. For the top of this box, you'll be using these two dies. This is going to be the side of the top. And using one of the dies from the set, you can also cut little windows into what it. What I did with this piece is I cut it out three times. I also layered vellum right behind the little openings and on the little perimeter of those windows I use the same Nuvo drop to color the border as if it were inlay. Now using this piece you'll cut it out three times and I did the same thing which was to layer a second little die that you can layer right on top of those and I backed it up with vellum on the inside 
And then on the border, I used again the same Dream Drops to give myself a little border on each one of those. So again, a total of three. Lastly, to attach your windmill, you'll use this piece here and you'll be cutting that out two times. You'll notice there's a little hole in the center and with that, you're going to need a brad. I've selected two gold brads out of my stash here and I have a larger one and a smaller one. I don't yet know which size I'm going to use, but I'll set those aside and we'll start this tutorial. I'm first going to layer these vellum panels onto the bases because it's going to make it a whole lot easier when I try to assemble this. So I've already got these all set to go and now all I need to do is add a little drop of glue here on each corner. I don't need a lot of adhesive because this is decorative and a little bit of glue goes a long way and you can also use tweezers to help you place these right on top if you like. The side tab and the bottom tab you can fold. So I will be doing this a total of six times for the large pieces and again six times for the small. Now that I have all of my little decorative panels adhered, I'm going to start placing blue only on the side tabs here. This is the smaller of the two. I'm going to push the little small tabs away as I find my placement here. And I'm going to be very careful here to add one piece to the next making sure that I focus on the actual fall line there because this is striped paper so it can be a little bit confusing but it's going to look like that and I'm going to keep repeating that pushing those tabs away Once all of those side tabs are glued together, now you can go ahead and glue together the little small tabs and just place a little tiny dot of adhesive and fold these right over. Just like so, and I'm going to repeat the same on the top. join this tab to close this off starting off with the largest one and then add the little bit of glue on the two little tabs top and bottom The 
that aside and you're going to repeat the same process with the bottom only you're going to start by adding these to the base so you can grab that base piece that's the heavy card and you can add glue to the edges or you can add it to the tab at the bottom whichever one is more comfortable for you and then overlapping these pieces you're going to start placing all six of them onto this base. I like to kind of flip it over and make sure they're nice and straight. Get your little bit of glue, match up the tab, and press that on, making sure that those corners are nice and straight. Once you're nice and confident that these are placed exactly where you need them, you can flip this over. And this is where I'm going to place my second piece. And it's going to allow this to have a little bit of sturdiness as well as give it a nice finish for the inside of the box. And this is going to cover all those tabs, of course. You want to make sure you burnish this nicely all the way around. It looks like this. And because you've already burnished the side tabs, which I highly recommend you do before you begin, then you can now place your glue here and have these join piece by piece. Paying attention to that little join here at the bottom, that you know, don't neglect that. And then at the top you can do the same thing where you push away those little tabs for a moment until you get this long tab glued together. So I'm going to do that all the way around, just pushing away those little tabs for a minute. Okay. And I'm going to continue adding the liquid adhesive here, making sure those little corners are nicely joined, both at the bottom and at the top. looks like this for the bottom piece and this for the top. They should definitely nest together very nicely. But we need a base so let's move on to that. And that's these two pieces here. I've gone ahead and placed double sided adhesive on most of this just to make it a little bit faster. But of course I'm going to add wet glue to this as well. And one of these will stack on the other. Let's follow that up with, oopsie, forgot the liner. <laughs> I forgot to remove the liner on two of these. Okay, so there's that. And one more. Before you add your wet glue, make sure you take that liner off. <laughs> it might help. Okay. And now you can add the wet glue right on top. Now these are going to mirror each other, so you'll have three panels this way and three panels 
this way that are going to be folding into the center of this piece. I'm going to try to line up two sides first and then the others should fit comfortably. I can burnish that, flip it over. Looks pretty good. Triangle tabs and square tabs all the way around. They're going to help you join one piece to the next but you do want them to glue into onto the inside of the following tab, not the outside. So I've already pushed mine toward the inside of this. And on those little triangles and squares, you can add a little drop of glue before you fold this over. Okay. You might want to hold it this way so you can see a little bit better, but on here, you're going to add your little line of glue, and that's the outermost tab. Fold it toward the inside, and it should meet the line that's the score line there to create what's going to be the side of this little base, and it's going to look like a little picture frame. That little triangle should meet up with the next piece of paper there. So if you want to, you can glue that first. That's really up to you. But I'm gonna remove the tab here, making sure my little square has glue on that. I'm gonna flip this down and nestle it right in there. It should line up with the score line, making sure that of course that little square is on the inside. And that's going to give you a really nice finish on that corner. And you're going to repeat that all the way around, adding your glue to the little triangle, to the little square, and then that little square can fold out that way. That helps. The little square is going to fold out at an angle like this. Maybe you can see it better there because that's going to glue onto the inside of this. And that's just going to wrap right around it like that. Once you've got that nice and assembled and all your little corners are really nice and sharp there, then you can place the base right inside. And of course you can glue this down. It'll keep your little box nice and sturdy. going to fit right inside and it's got a little bit of wiggle room there but it'll be just fine in there and while that's drying you can set it aside and work on the top of this box these three pieces are going to overlap so you can place glue on the center of one and the next one will join right on top You 
can hide those little tabs because they're going to be folding away from you as well just to help you out and then the third one will go on top of those two just overlapping them nicely okay and of course you want to burnish those fold lines before you begin so that's going to be the third one here right on top of the other two and again hide the little tabs for now as you're trying to focus on the center here it looks like a little flower very pretty now you can go ahead and overlap those side tabs And those are going to join at a different angle so just be gentle with the paper because it might still be a little bit wet just adding the glue and then making sure those sides meet got glue all over my fingertips but <laughs> I'm making it work okay now I have something that looks like this and that's gonna come in handy for a lot of other guys we're gonna be applying the glue here on the side tab first and then overlapping these you'll have a panel that looks like this and this is actually going to fit inside of that one but let's go ahead and join it first and now I have something that looks like this and these little guys can get glue on them because they're going to join right in here okay and that's going to give that nice little shape to the lid of this box You now have a piece that looks like this. It's a nice little dome. On that dome piece, we're going to be adding this one here. But first, if you want to, you can go ahead and add this to the top of your box. Should fit right inside. You might need to bend it a little bit get it in there hopefully not too much okay and of course you can glue this together if you want to it's up to you I think it's not a bad idea to add some glue to that and make sure that it stays together and this is going to be the windmill portion so you're going to do the same as you did with the base which is to just overlap these pieces making sure those tabs face the opposite way and one fits right into the next make sure it lines up perfectly and then all those little tabs are going to join one to the other 
triangle onto a square here. I do have to give it a moment to dry because if not it pulls apart. Now I'm going to have two little tabs right on the back here. If you see that, that's where you're going to add your glue to adhere to the side of your little box here. You're going to want to add it to one of the bottom windows, not the top, of course, because you want to have room for your little windmill operation there. So you pick whichever way you want to add this, of course. I think I'm going to do top and bottom just because I like the way that looks. Your brad, and I'm just gonna start placing these one right after the other onto the brad, just like that. There's a third one. And then this is gonna give me an opportunity to kind of maneuver these and put them where they need to go, because you don't need to tighten that too much. All right. And then this is going to go right inside of here, okay, right in the center. You're going to flip that over and then you might have to use a tool like a pair of tweezers. So press on it. Yep, there we go. So I used a paintbrush and then I pushed on those two little legs there and was able to open that. And now I can apply glue on those two little tabs there. And for this, I wish I had hot glue. I don't have my gun on at the moment. So I'm just gonna apply liquid glue here and just make sure that these are kind of equidistant to each other, just to make it look nice and pretty. So making sure that these, this line and this line follows each other and the same with the other two focusing on those lines there. And I'm now going to place this on the top here. This glue dries pretty quickly. Voila. And now, while that's drying, I'm gonna add the front door to my little uh, structure here. And I'm just gonna pick a side and I had cut that out using one of the small dies available. And there is also a little embossing die. So I did put some Nouveau Mousse on that glue here. And like I said before, just pick a side, whichever one you like. Make that the door. I'll have pictures as I usually do at the end of the video. But this completes the assembly of this particular windmill very nice and pretty colors. I love the glimmer of that um, of that drop. I think it's absolutely darling. Mm -hmm. So you you make it whichever way you're comfortable. All I can tell you is that it comes together super easily and it's a lot of fun. But I hope that you've enjoyed this video, that you can be inspired and be blessed. And I thank you so much for watching.